The red-winged blackbird is one of the most iconic birds in North America. It is a short distance migrant, but tends to stay in a lot of places as a permanent resident. The red-winged blackbird is similar in size to the American robin. Males can be identified through their stocky shape, conical bill, medium length tail, red and yellow markings on the shoulders, especially in flight, and females will have a dark brown overall color with defined streaks. Males will often be found sitting on higher perches, screaming out in their iconic song for most of the day. Females can be found lower, often looking for food and weaving their nests. The red-winged blackbird is usually found in marshes and wetlands. Red-winged blackbirds typically eat insects in the summer and seeds throughout the winter. If you're a fan of having red-winged blackbirds in your yard, they typically will show up for mixed grains and seeds, especially during migration. They prefer to feed on the ground, so having seeds on your ground can also attract them to your yards. There are many different populations and subspecies of red-winged blackbirds. However, a study found that their differences are typically the result of living in different environments, rather than different genetic makeups. One California subspecies of the red-winged blackbird lacks the yellow borders to the red shoulders. This has been called the bicolored blackbird. Scientists believe that this is to help red-winged blackbirds recognize and differentiate each other from the tricolored blackbird. Red-winged blackbirds are highly polygenous species, meaning that males typically have up to 15 female mates. Male red-winged blackbirds defend their nests quite aggressively. At times, they are known for going after larger animals, like this great blue heron, and even people. Female red-winged blackbirds lay three to four eggs and incubate the eggs up to 11 days until they hatch. Its nest is an open cup of woven grass and wet leaves. It is typically filled with dried mud and fine grass. The oldest red-winged blackbird ever recorded lived for 15 years and 9 months. This is amazing considering the average red-winged blackbird lives about 2 years. Some of these birds can travel up to 50 miles between their roosting and feeding sites. For many cultures, seeing a red-winged blackbird is considered good luck, and they symbolize protection and prosperity. In Chichimacha, Native American folklore, they believe that at one point a man grew frustrated with his life. In his frustration, he set a marsh on fire, thinking that he could take his anger out on the world. A little blackbird saw what the man was doing and called out to the nearby village that the whole world was going to burn. The angry man threw a shell and hit the blackbird in its wings, causing them to bleed. The village people ran to the marsh and put the fire out. In the end, the blackbird forever wore the mark of its honorable deed. Overall, seeing a red-winged blackbird is a positive symbol, so if you see one, make sure you cash in on its good luck. Let me know in the comments section below, did you learn anything new? Don't forget to like and subscribe, we are so close to hitting 100 subscribers and I'm so thankful for the support. Thank you all for joining me on this educational journey. I'll see you all next time on Bright-Eyed Birding.